Hello, my name is Alex A. Mansuri. I am 22 years old, and I have been deaf in my left ear since five years old. I wore a hearing aid in my right ear until its decline in seventh grade. Summer before eighth grade, I received my first cochlear implant in my left ear with Dr. Harris at UCSD in Southern California. It was a huge success. Before heading off to college, I had the second surgery in my right ear with Dr. Reedbeek Mehta at the California Ear, Nose, and Throat Specialist in Southern California. Both implants were mapped by Sarah Matson, who has worked with both doctors. I'm currently finishing up my senior year as a music performance major. Um, it's been a surreal experience being a bilateral cochlear implant patient and also a music performance major. Um, the challenges presented of, of passing the singing classes, the hearing classes, and uh, pa you know passing your your performance reviews, where I play with a piano, where I play with other students, even part of what I've had to get over is problems in pitch, uh, problems with noise filtering instruments. You know, like if a conductor says, um, "Listen to the clarinet" or or "Listen to the oboe." It's sometimes very difficult to to just do that as a as you know, as a naturally deaf person, um, and I've and I've found that the way I can get through this is at night I will play recordings of that instrument to familiarize myself with it and and not take out my implants. I will actually sleep with my implants, and uh, and I notice uh, uh, results that that are staggering. Actually, I, I went from getting C's in my hearing classes to passing more than. Uh, kids with regular hearing um, and uh, it, it's it, part of it is is consistency I think familiarity and consistency are, are keys in in uh, implant development and and what what patients need to be looking for in their devices <laughs> So people who can hear normally are able to hear uh, the vibrations between notes normally. And I, I have had to train myself um, in other ways. Really, I, I've just become familiar. And the way I've become familiar with, with uh, pitches is by basically playing, playing with uh, recordings of of pitches and so I'll, I'll, I'll do this for uh, any you know 30 minutes to an hour every day another exercise I found myself doing to uh, help train my implants in in the performance process uh, has been playing with a piano singing with a piano um, and I'll start with a simple exercise uh, one with simple fits and I'll sing, trying to go in and out of the correct pitch to hear where I am in relation with the correct pitch. And when I come back to the correct pitch on, on the second time around, it, it settles in rather than grabbing it out of thin air because my my ears are aware of what of what the sound is this applies to trombone because now i can hear what the sound is e in conclusion we need therapy solutions created by implant patients i propose we sleep with the devices on i i believe the the more often i sleep with my devices the better quality of hearing um i i experience um, I also would propose smaller de devices for nighttime use, um, one for convenience and two because it, it doesn't, we don't need the same quality of hearing at night. I think the, the actual hearing, uh, hearing pathway just needs to be activated. And finally, my next step is uh, Boston University. I'll be pr uh, pursuing my master's in music performance um, and I would love to uh, give, give you researchers uh, my experiences. Um, and, and even offer myself as a beta tester if possible. Um, it, it has been a, a dream of mine to help help the world uh, merge music, music and 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 deafness, and, and in my case, mu uh, music and cochlear implants. Um, and and it's, it's a dream dream come true to be sending you this video. Thank you for your time. <laughs>